So we're in southwest London. Um, so we've got a situation on these uh, fairly modern flats where just that window there, the ceiling of that area is damp. Um, damp patches, um, clearly, clearly wet. Um, now they've had seven leak detection companies come out and investigate this area to see where the cause of the, the leak is. No one's been able to nail it yet. Uh, so we're the eighth company. Um, so obviously we have nailed it. Um, so I'm with the guys now. So we're gonna just walk through and explain exactly what we've done um, and how we found the hidden leak that's been causing this family grief for ages. So I'm with George. Joe, 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 smile. Um, <laughs> go on, you show me what you've done. Okay, so we've turned up today. We did a pre visit last week, it was late, so we came in. So today we've had a cherry picker here, but the cherry picker's just gone. It has. But. Um, so we've been up on the roof. Yep. Um, we managed with a kind neighbour upstairs to manage to source some hot water. Yep. To pour that down sort of the roof area and down a panel. Using a, a garden hose, yeah? You're just using a garden hose, yeah. yeah. Um, connected that up. Got it running, heat yeah. it all up, and then use our thermal imaging um, okay. to try and uh, trace the, the heat. And George, whose yeah. idea was that? Yeah, mine, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a lie. That was a lie. So, with hot water, we flooded the whole area up there with hot water, and then we've used what technology to trace where the hot thermal, water goes? Thermal imaging, so we can see where the heat is and, yeah. and how it's travelling down um, behind the panels and everything. Yeah. Um, the next thing we. Watch the mapping? Yeah, and moisture mapping. The, the next thing we've done is we've, uh, the area that we suspected, or different yeah. areas up yeah. on the roof, um, we've sort of flooded them with different colour dyes. Yeah. So there was one area in particular that um, was, you know, was, was suspicious. And we've, we've, we've flooded that with a green dye. Um, and, you know, sort of waited patiently. And then within, uh, 10 minutes or so, all the way from the roof to the first floor window. So here, first the, floor. The, the green dye yep. has appeared. So we Fantastic. know that there's some sort of failure there because obviously that shouldn't be happening. And you actually, um, one of you actually managed to actually locate the actual specific area where it failed. Yes, correct. Yes, yeah. so we didn't have to obviously um, get that bit of cladding um, and, and managed to get behind it. And let me stop you there, Joe. Who taught you everything you know? <laughs> they're all lies, they're all lies. <laughs> so yeah, so we managed to get behind that cladding, um, yeah. and obviously we could see the green dye that travelled from the roof yeah. down to that point. Um, and yeah, there's just multiple failures along the way. And for really high-end, expensive, modern flats, what did you find when you started removing the panels when you sort of went up here? Because initially we did actually take these panels off here. Uh, which is this is the affected property so we removed all of these panels on the cherry picker what did you find it's just been put together really poorly um all the rubber seals um between the cladding either perished or, or just not there um <laughs> which is just bad work now and and also uh, what about the drip trays what did you find with the drip trays <laughs> you're not allowed to, you're allowed to laugh you've got to be very serious about this some of the drip trays are uh, too small for the window. Yeah. So it drips either side and comes in. <laughs> Some are just not there. Um, yeah, Some are damaged. Some are damaged. So really, the only way of res resolving some of those issues are locating the original manufacturer of, of the actual cladding, finding out what system they've used, and then getting spare parts. How difficult is that going to be for you to do, George? <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, right at the very, very top here, um, literally between the higher roof line and where it meets the slightly lower roof line, um, we found, uh, we've got pictures of it, obviously. Um, got a, got a huge, got a huge crack, uh, crack there, haven't we? Uh, where all the yeah, where it's all coming water, from water coming um now all the other companies couldn't find it um you guys did so well done guys and we'll put this on youtube and hopefully it'll help somebody else cheers <laughs>